Hi everyone, let's solve the second question from today's weekly contest that is kth largest sum in a binary tree. So in this question we are given the root of a binary tree and a positive integer k. So the level sum in the tree is the sum of the values of a node that are on the same level. So we have to return the kth largest sum in the tree, right? And if there are fewer than k levels, we have to return minus 1, right? So let's see what the question means. Basically, we are given a binary tree, right? In this binary tree, in this binary tree, what do we have to, um, you know, return? We have to return the kth largest sum. Now, sum of what, right? So, in binary tree, we have some levels, right? These are the levels you can see here, right? So, this is the first level, this is the second level, this is the third level, this is the fourth level, right? These are some levels of the binary tree, right? Now, what, do, uh, what we have to do is, we have to calculate their sum, right? So, what we are told is, we have to calculate the sum, that is the level sum, right? So, so for the first level here you can see, and this is the first test case that I have taken. So for the first level the sum is 5. For the second level it is 17, that is 8 plus 9. These nodes are in the second level, right? Then in the third level we have 2, 1, 3 and 7. So we have 13 as the sum and uh, for the fourth level the sum is 10, right? So what we have to do is we have to return the kth largest sum. Basically, we need to um, uh, sort these um, sums in ascending or descending order and we have to return the kth largest sum, right? So, the kth largest sum here will be 13. Why? Because the first largest sum is 17, then the second largest sum is 13 and k is 2. So, we need to return the second largest sum that is 13, right? So, let's see how we'll be solving it. So, um, because we are already given in the question that we need to, you know, calculate the sum of the levels, so we'll be doing what? A BFS, that is a level order traversal, right? We'll be doing a BFS, right? So, so now, you know, the way to do BFS, you take a Q, right? And uh, you iterate for all the values inside of the Q, take the children of the values present inside of the queue and you keep doing that until um, you have traversed the whole tree right so that is bfs now in this bfs we have to customize it a little bit right so first of all uh, what we'll be doing is we will be declaring a priority queue right we will be having a priority queue right now why priority queue because obviously if you you know let's say you do do a bfs right and then you calculate the level order sums right you've calculated these sums now you will do what you will try to you know uh, sort this right sort all the levels um that can also work but but pri using priority queue is better why because priority queue will um what is a priority queue first of all priority queue is nothing but a max heap right so ma max heap does what the root of the max heap is always always the largest right similarly the uh, top of the this priority queue will always be the largest right so after you remove this particular value from the priority queue it will rearrange itself that is by calling the heapify method right so in the priority queue you can easily get by popping out top k elements you can get the element from the top of the priority queue that will be your kth largest sum so that is why we will be taking a priority queue Right, so what we'll be doing, we'll be doing a BFS, right, and we will be storing, first of all, for each level, we will be calculating sum, that is the customization that we have to do in the BFS, that is calculate the sum and put it inside of the priority queue, right, so we'll be calculating, we will be doing a BFS, for each level, we will be calculating a sum, and for each level, we will be putting that particular sum inside of the priority queue, so that is all we have to do, right, so I guess I don't have to explain how to do a BFS and uh, everything. Let's jump to the code part now, right? So let's see. So this is the queue that we have created for uh, BFS, right? So first you put the root inside of the queue and uh, here we have declared our priority queue. Now here we have done our uh, BFS traversal, right? So this BFS traversal takes O of n time complexity, right? So we have taken first of all, um, all the n number of nodes in a particular level and we have take, declared this uh, variable called sum and here we are traversing for each level and for each level we are calculating the sum right 
then after we have calculated the sum for each level we are putting it in, inside of the priority queue that is p here right so we are putting it inside of the priority queue then what we will do so we have to check one case right where if the if there are less levels than k right then you cannot return the k as largest sums you have to return minus 1 otherwise okay let's remove this we don't need this okay otherwise what you have to do you have to calculate the kth largest sum what will you do now because your priority queue is already here right you can simply do for k times you can pop the top elements right to get the kth largest value right so here you will return the top of the priority queue that is the kth value so that is how you have to solve this question